Hello YouTube and welcome to Ground Forks. Today I will have a rather special episode for the Naval Action Legends where I will be taking a look a little bit in terms of unrated ships and I will be comparing them. It will be a rather short video but I still do want to actually, you know, do a little bit of comparison for the unrated ships. Later on we will be posting for the uh, frigates and 4th, 5th rates, 4th rates and onwards, hopefully. So, let's start. First of all ships we have a cutter. Cutter is actually a starter ship, it's a 7th rate and for an off trigger, so there's really not much to say. It's a starter ship, uh, excellent sailing close hold, which is towards the wind roughly, but not uh, fast running with the wind, and it also suffers significantly from heel. Well, how to play it? Well, just try to use its superior maneuverability to come close to the enemy, bombard him and get the hell out of there. Also try to avoid getting shot, but that pretty much works for any ship of the sort. The second ship we have is a brig. The brig is a little bit different. It's first of first of the six traits that you're gonna encounter. It has excellent speed downwind. It is the most maneuverable of all the six traits. It midpoint armor is really the best for its class or midpoint armor for its class, sorry. It is a very badly armed, so it has bad armament, very, you know, few cannons and bad caliber here, and it is very low on crew, making it very easy to capture. So, how would you actually want to play with such a ship? My advice, or at least how I played it, is keep at low angle to the enemy, try to stern camp with carronades, and try to avoid getting boarded. That's pretty much the only viable way I can see you could play Brig. Then we have the second ship. The second ship is the Navy Brig. Navy Brig is a tank in a full sense of the word. It is best armored, but it is slow and not at all agile when compared to the other six rates or the other ships, which are unrated. So, uh, how to play it? Slow and steady is the name of the game with the Navy Brig. Broadside to broadside will win you a fight with a single ship, but not the overall battle. Both carronades and the close-up approach due to its ability to soak up damage and the regular cannons and the mid-range game will work here, as long as you play against unrated ships. Do beware of the more maneuverable ships, which are pretty much all, and shot to the sails or the rudder, because those will hamper your turn rate or your speed, which are already hurting. Now, we come to the next ship. The next ship is the Mercury. And the Mercury, in my opinion, is the best of the unrated ships. It is a little bit more glass cannon-ish, but it's a cannon... well, not really, but it's a cannon nonetheless. It has a great armament, especially if you think uh, at the later stages you can get 24-pounder carrows, which can chew up a ship in one to two broadsides, especially the sixth rate. So those are, you know, beefy. It has decent armor, same as the brig, in fact, uh, and it's a sizable target, though. It's a sizable target. It has decent speed and suffers from heal a bit. So, how to play that one? Uh, slap in the 24-pounder carronades, get up close and personal and wreck havoc like there's no tomorrow. Do beware of its heel. It can expose an underbelly and it can earn you a lot of leaks. It's a decent stern camper, or alter alternatively, jousting uh, tactics will work well here. Zoom in, dump your load and zoom out. 
with a reload time enhancements uh, which hamper down the reload time or actually reduce the reload time, this ship can become a monster, literally. Okay, so that's so much for the Mercury. Let's take a look at the last of the unrated ships, which is the Snow. The Snow is really a weird little ship, and to be perfectly frank, I hate it. Uh, it has lots of guns, but it's a small caliber, so overall it's not too up impressive. It has terrible armor, and it, although it's a pretty fast with a decent turn rate. How to play that one? Two words. Endure it. Your best bet, since you obviously have to go through that, is long cannons mid-range fights, attempt not to get boarded because the crew is terrible, and avoid getting shot altogether. So, mid-range game is the name of the game here. And it takes a while while it levels up. So, that pretty much wraps up our review of unrated ships. Do post in the comments below what you think is the best ship and what is the best tactic to play it and I will for sure make sure that it's seen. So, once again, like if you like this video, hit subscribe for more Naval Action Legends content, join us on our Discord, and join us in playing together. So, thank you very much for watching, guys. This is Gromforks, signing off.